And it sounds too good to be true, or is it just a clever marketing ploy in the run-up to Christmas? Last weekend, thousands of shoppers found toys on sale for half price when they visited a retailer's website. The Hamleys toy shop says a computer glitch meant hundreds of products were sold at up to 60% less than their actual price, with one lucky shopper claiming to have purchased a £13,000 snooker table for less than £6,000. As news spread, thousands of people logged on to take advantage. Hamley says it corrected the fault within 24 hours and will honour any orders made as a result of the blunder. Hamleys is the latest company to report problems with online sales in the run-up to Christmas. Last week, Sainsbury's said a mistake on its website revealed secret code which allowed shoppers to save up to 60% on beer, wine and spirits. Last Friday, Woolworths was forced to cancel 24,000 online orders for TVs worth £1,000 after customers found they could buy them for just £150. And threshers caused a stir earlier this month when thousands of people emailed one another with vouchers offering huge discounts at its stores. So are these deals really mistakes by companies or are they clever ways of boosting overall sales by advertising their products through word of mouth? Well, I'm joined now by someone who should know, Jason Corman, who's a marketing strategist with the company Stormhook, who launched the Threshers Voucher Scheme. Uh, was that, were most of these just naivety or are they all cynical marketing? Well, there's, there's a difference between what happened at Threshers and what allegedly happened at Hamley's. Uh, the Thresher Voucher was an offer that was created by Threshers in, in an effort to drive traffic into stores. Um, what we didn't anticipate was the fact that it would have so much pickup and it would go viral. And, and there's a fundamental difference between that and, say, having a website where there's an error or a glitch and, and consumers pick up on it and, 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 and take advantage of it. Well, I think that's the key because one got the impression with Threshers that the vouchers were sent out to a limited number of people and they were special customers and so on. And that what happens is um, savvy internet shoppers were just sending these things around. And is that really what's happened with Hamleys and Woolworths or have they just made a basic mistake on their computer well, system? I, I'm clearly I'm not as familiar with the Hamleys uh, situation as, as I am with Threshers. But yeah, the Hamley, it would seem very unlikely to me that Hamleys would put things on their website that would um, result in a, a loss for them. Uh, I, I just, it's hard to imagine that they wouldn't have checks and balances in place. Well, they said place. there were codes which apparently people were able to um, add up which gave this huge discount. That wasn't the original plan. It, it's possible. You, know, you can never um, underestimate the power of incompetence within a business. Well, I'm just wondering, <laughs> is that really what it is? These are high street retailers which are desperate to get shoppers back into their stores and sure. maybe they're not as smart as you're giving them credit for. Well, I, I think that, that with Threshers, it was a very straightforward um, offer. And yes, it, it, grow, it grew much, much greater than, than anybody anticipated. I mean, their, their sales over the, the 10 days it ran um, were about 15 million more than... And they've honored all of them. And but they, I mean, Hamleys and Woolworths aren't doing that. Hamleys, I think, are. But they've, they've now got a shortage of toys in their stores. Yeah, and, and, and you know, that's where, where these retailers um, underestimate the power of the web. It's a new world. You know, it used to be about bricks and mortar. It's really not about bricks and mortar anymore. As a small little winery, we had a, a huge impact on the largest independent retailer, uh, in, in, you know, a specialist retailer in the UK, over a voucher that we posted, okay. something that would never have been possible 10 years ago, even five years ago. And now with social software and the way the web is changing and the way people communicate online, you know, whether it's opportunities like a Thresher's yeah. voucher or a glitch you know, on, on a Hamley's site, the world, it's a different world. And I think it's sort of seller beware in this case. Absolutely. Thanks very much, Jason Thank Coleman. Thank you. Well, the FTSE's continued its disappointing start to the week as mining stocks helped to drag the...